Sarah from the Civic Center. Happy snow day! Hey, just because we can't get together today to work out, doesn't mean that we can't get a couple moves in. So I put together a little warm up for us to do together today to get you off the couch, get things moving a little bit. Then we're gonna do nine different strength exercises, and I'm gonna throw in a couple cardio moves in there for you too. All you're gonna need for this exercise today is a towel, kitchen towel, and a throw pillow. So go ahead and grab up what you need. Make sure you get a bottle of water. Now this workout, anybody can do this workout. There'll be all kinds of types of modifications that I'll be showing you. So grab your kids, grab grandma, get together, and just get your bodies moving for just a little bit. So we're just gonna start on the side of our chair. Okay, so chair center. Now I did put a yoga mat underneath my chair just to keep it from slipping around on the ground. So you might wanna do that as well, unless you have it on carpet, then no problem. So let's start with the side of our chair. All right, and we're just gonna plant our feet, roll our shoulders back, chest is lifted, and we're just gonna take a couple nice, big, deep breaths right here just to kind of recenter. So three nice, big, deep breaths. Reach nice and high to the sky. Good, exhale on the way down. Inhale, beautiful, cascade those fingers down, and exhale. One more big, deep breath. Reach up nice and high. Exhale, cascade those arms back down, excellent. From here, we're gonna open the legs up about shoulder width apart. We're gonna bring the hands heart center. Now we're gonna press away towards the right. Let that left hip follow you. And you'll feel this really awesome rotation through your core. Good, so come to center, press away to the right. Let that left hip follow you, bring it back in. Press away to the left. Good, let that right hip follow you, bring it back in. Let's do two more, each side, keeping that core engaged. Keeping that belly button pulled into that spine, but we're making sure that we're breathing, we're not holding our breath. Good, one more, press away and bring it back center. Now from here, we're gonna take our reach up and across to the opposite side. So a little bit of bounce in your knees, get the knees a little soft. Good, and we're reaching up and across, getting the upper back loose, getting the shoulders loose. Nice fluid motion right here. Four more for four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna take it right across that frontal plane and get a little tap going. So a nice wide tap. Good, and I just want you to imagine you're smoothing out that snow out there in the yard. Good, right across the chest, perfect. And four, three, two, one. We're gonna keep this tap going, but we're gonna take our reach up overhead. Good, you should feel that skin stretch over that rib cage. Nice stretch for the side body right here. Good, keep it going for four. Three, two, and one. From here, we're gonna come to a butt kicker with a chest opener. Now keep in mind your chair's right here for support. If you're feeling a little off balance today, you can come behind that chair, Hold on to it, good, and keep working those quads. So we're stretching out, getting the front of those quads ready up right here, adding in that chest opener, stretching the chest, good, wrapping those traps around the spine and the back. Excellent, keep it going for four, three, two, and one. Now from here, we're gonna get to that heel tap going, and we're gonna punch down and across that frontal plank, down and across. Good, keep it going. And remember, I'm doing this from my house, so you might see a dog or a kid run by, but I'm just gonna keep this video going and keep you moving. Here we go, for four, three, two, one. I want you to pop this outside heel up on the ground and put your weight on your opposite leg. Now we're just gonna hold it here for five seconds. Give me a little tap with the foot. Tap, tap, tap those toes. Good, come all the way up to the tippy top. Now from here, we're gonna step this outside leg back and we're gonna press that heel into the floor, stretching out the back of that hamstring. Press off that back foot, step it forward. Chairs right here for support. Good, feeling good, feeling balanced today. You take your hand. Off that chair. Good. One more. Press it and bring it up. Good. Now, now we're going to step this back leg back, but we're going to bend this back knee for that reverse lunge. So hold on to that chair for support if you need to. 
Both knees are bending. You're gonna press off that back foot, touch it with that opposite hand. So it's lunge, touch it with that opposite hand. Good, lunge and knee up. Remember to hold on to that chair for that balance move. Good, you got it. Excellent. Here we go for four, three, two, and one. Yes, great. And a little fire in those quads and those glutes. Let's just get a nice little light march going right here. Shake that all out. Good. Chest lifted. Get the arms moving. Excellent. You got it. Looking good. All right. From here, we're going to come behind our chair. Okay, so behind the chair, but I'm going to stay out inside, out in front of the chair. Excuse me. That way you can see what we're doing here. So behind the chair, holding on to the back, we're going to open the legs up about hip width apart. Knees and toes are going to track out. So we're going for squats right here, okay? Let's do six regular squats to start with. Weight in the heels, head and chest is lifted. Good, holding onto that chair for support, or maybe you're out to the side right here with me. Good, and when we get to the top, I want you to press those hips forward, squeeze those glutes under, you know the rule. Excellent. For three, good, two, and one, awesome job. Now we're gonna bring those feet together, okay? Feet together, generous bend in the knees, still behind your chair if you need it for support. All right, from here, we have this generous bend, and we're gonna bring the heels off the floor at the same time. Good, up on the balls of your feet. Nice, feels good. Waking up those Achilles tendons, getting all the way through the calves. You got it, three more, three. Two, and on the top one, I want you to pulse it up and down, up and down, you got it, for three, two, one, keep those heels off the ground, generous bit of the knees, balance move right here, here we go for six, five, four, whoa, three, two, one, plant those heels on the floor, we're coming around to the opposite side to work that opposite leg, all right, so opposite side of the chair, Let's get re-centered with the march. Marching it up. Good. Punch down and across. Here we go. Bam. 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 Good. Keep it going. All right. Three more. For three. Two. One. Pop that opposite heel on the ground. Weight's going to go on that opposite leg. Good, tapping that toe, just stretching out that hamstring just a little bit for three, two, one. Stand it all the way back into the top. Now that outside leg is going to press back. Good, press that heel down into the ground. Push off that back foot to the top. Press it. Good, bring that knee up at the top for me. Do a little balance move right here. Good, press and up at the top. Last one, press and up at the top. Good. Now from here, we're gonna step that back leg back into that reverse lunge. I don't know the dog in. Sorry, guys. All right, reverse lunge. It's too cold to leave those dogs out there longer than 30 minutes, guys. Keep that in mind. All right, stepping back into that reverse lunge. Both knees are bending. Bringing that knee up at the top. There goes Gunner. Nice job, guys. Keep it going. Three. See, I'm not getting distracted. Two. This is our time to move together. Last one, awesome job. All right, let's march that out. All right, so we're gonna come into some side lunges. Side lunge time. So again, come behind your chair if you need that balance today, okay? That is okay. Always start where you are. So from here, we're gonna open up the legs wider than the shoulders. Knees and toes are gonna track out, okay? And we're coming in to a side lunge. So think about just one leg bending, your weight's still in that heel, and if you still have a little bend in this opposite knee, that's okay, that's just a range of motion thing and that's no big deal. But that worky leg is the one that has the weight bearing. So from here, chest lifted, reaching down towards that toe, good, and then we're gonna reach it up to the other side. So feel this little rotation, the transverse plane right here, so here we go, chest lifted, low, take it high, low, Good. Keep that gaze out in front of you. I should be able to read what is on your t-shirt. 
low and high. So the bucket low in the dishwasher, putting it up on the shelf. Low in the dishwasher, up on the shelf. That's what we say in our silver sneakers class. Nice functional exercise right here. Last one, good. Okay, moving into the opposite side. Low, high to the opposite side. Low, high. Good, keep that reach going. Keep that breath coming. Check in with that chest as it lifted. Three more, three. Two, and last one. Excellent, walk your feet back in. We're back to a march. All right, so we're gonna start off with cardio to begin with, a little cardio burst to get everything moving, all right? All right, so grab a drink real quick if you need it. We are moving into some side lunges with a hop in the middle. So side lunge with a knee up and a skip. And I need these cardio exercises to be a little quiet because my husband's working downstairs and I don't want to be too loud. So these shouldn't be too loud for you either. So what it's going to look like, we're going to step out to that side lunge. We're going to bring this foot in. Now either kickstand this foot and bring it up in the middle. So side lunge, bringing the knee up in the middle, focusing on that balance here. So this is level one right here. Level two, we're putting a hop in it. So let's get moving with our side lunge, knee up and skip. Good. Drive that knee up, power off the foot. You've got it. Keep it going. 20 seconds. Chest is lifted. Driving up through the toe. Power up. Here we go for 10, 9, 8 more. Come on. And 5. Four, three, two, last one. Excellent job, shake it off. That's my boyfriend calling. That's what they call the dryer alarm in this house, my boyfriend. Are they lucky? Okay guys, time to get that towel out. No, we're not doing dishes with the towel. We're gonna work out with this towel today. So we're gonna bring it down to the floor. And I gotta make sure I'm backed up enough so that y'all can see me. So I'm gonna do a little rearranging here. All right, so towel, we're gonna set it down on the ground. Our outside leg is our working leg. Chair's right here for support. We're gonna stand with our feet underneath our shoulders. And we're gonna do a side lunge with a leg slide. So this inner knee's gonna bend, this outer leg it's just gonna move out to the side, slide out to the side. Chest is lifted, check in with this knee. Make sure it's staying behind the toe. Good, you got it. Beautiful. Kind of a little skier move right here. Great for working the legs and the quads. Ooh, building some strength right here. Four more on this side, here we go for four. Three, you got it, you can do it. Two, and one. Good, bring it back in. So that supporting leg, it should be on fire about now, okay? So we are gonna stick with our towel, but this time we're gonna move our leg behind us. So we're sliding the leg behind. So again, chair for support. We're gonna start with our feet underneath us. Chest is lifted, shoulders are pulled back. Here we go. Going down, slide it back. Whoops, a little too close to my leg, so I got to come forward. All right, here we go. Slide it back and forward. Slide it back and forward. I might have just a tiny little bit in my knee, but I'm not going for that full reverse lunge. Good. Supporting leg. Drive into that foot. Find all four corners of that working leg. You got it. Are you feeling this or what? And all right, five more. Five, four, three, two, last one. Bring it up. All right, guys, don't take your foot off that towel. We got a combo move before we move on to our next move. So slide your leg out to the side, slide it back. We're going for six. Here we go. Slide it up to the side. Bring it in. Slide it back. There's one. Side. 
bring them in. Back. There's two. Good. Keep moving. Think about the benefits of this move and not the challenge, all right? We have nice, strong, strong quads and a clean floor. All right, good job. Back. Bring it in. Out. Bring it in. Last one. Here we go. Back. Bring it in. Out. Bring it in. Nice job, guys. Give yourself a round of applause. We're going to take our feet off. Ooh. Our towel for the moment, and we're going to do a nice little light march right here. Shake it all back out. You've got it. All right, so grab a drink. Check in with yourself. Good. Okay, when you're ready, we're going to come to the opposite side of the chair, but we've got to start with that cardio move first. So 30 seconds of cardio, and then we'll move on to our slides, all right? Got it. Down, down. All right, so opposite side, 30 seconds. Side lunge, are doing the right side? <laughs> side lunge, bring it in. Side lunge, bring it in. And we're starting, here we go. Take that hop out if you need to. Remember that chair's there for your support. Come on, let's pick it up. Doing good. Hey, if you guys did this workout, why don't you comment below, say hi to all your friends, and hopefully we'll be together again on Thursday. Go ahead, keep it going. Keep it moving, 15 more. 10. Here we go for five, four, three, two, and last one, hop it up. Go ahead and march it out. Do a little light kick right here. Ooh, shake it all up. All right, grab up your towel. Back to our lower body moves, guys. Towels on the outside leg. All right, we're starting with our feet underneath us. We're going for 12. All right, slide the leg out to the side. Good, that inner leg is a working leg or supporting leg. Check in with that knee. Make sure you stay behind that toe. And you're sitting that weight back in your heel. Here we go for five, six, seven. You got it, eight, come on, nine. Two more, push two. Oh, nice job, pull it off. Pull it off right here, guys. All right, keeping that towel underneath that foot. Go with the slide back. Here we go. Back, bring it in. Back, bring it in. Good. Front leg is supporting leg. Back leg's just dead weight. Sliding on that towel. Good. Press into your foot as you bring that leg up. Beautiful move. Five more. Five. Bam. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Don't stop. And one. And cool it down, guys. Good job. All right. Going for that combo. That six combo. Here we go. Slide out to the side and back for six. Five. Four. Come on, you can do it. Three more. Three. Woo. Two. You'll never look at a dish towel the same. One. Press it back. And you're done. You're amazing. Nice job. Shake your legs out. Let's grab a quick drink. And we're moving into the chair, right? Keep your towel with you. because we will be using our pillow as well. So we're kind of seated in our chair. All right. And we're going to give the lower body a rest for just a second and do a couple upper body moves. All right, so using our towel, we're going to take a second to roll our towel up, all right? 
right, guys. So from here, we're going to work the upper body, all right? I know we don't have any weights today, but that doesn't mean we can't get an active workout in those biceps, all right? So from here, sit nice and tall in the chair. Back is off the chair. Knees are on the floor, hip width apart. Knees are on the floor. Feet are on the floor. Duh. All right. From here, elbows are bent. And we're going for a preacher curl. So I want you to give a little tug away on this towel. So pull it away from each other. Feel your shoulder blades tense up. Good. Activate those biceps. Now we're going to curl it to the face. Keep that pull going. And release. Good. Keeping that bend in those elbows. Going for preacher curls right here. Good. Keep it going. Squeeze those biceps. Be mindful about that squeeze, guys. You got it. Keep it going. We have six more right here. You're doing awesome for six. Take your time with it. Five. Four. Three more. Three. Woo. Two. Arms shaking. Good. And last one. And rest it down, guys. Good job. Let's do a little stretch for those shoulders. So we're going to place, we're going to re-grip our towel. Knuckles are going to be facing up. All right, both arms are going to shift to the right. There you go. Pull with that right hand. Now from here, we're going to look to our left. Nice little stretch right here. It will cool down. Good. Bring it back to center. And we'll go to the other side. Here we go. And look right. Perfect. And bring it back into center and release. Nice job. All right. So from here, let's go ahead and put our towels aside. Towels aside for right now. All right. And we're going to do a little bit of core action. So go ahead and grab up your pillow. Okay. Any little throw pillow will do. And we are going to do some core work from here. All right, so first we are going to do some knee pulls just to kind of get that core engaged and warmed up. And we're going to be using our top, or excuse me, our pillow. It's a pillow. All right, so you can stay seated as you were on your chair. I just want to move to the side so you guys can see what I'm doing. So we're going to start with our pillow up top, out in front of us. We're going to bring the knee up, bounce it on the pillow, bring it back down. Up, Okay, this is gonna lower, excuse me, this is gonna warm up that lower core. Good, keep it going. Knee pulls right here. Using our pillows. Getting a little movement on this snow day. Gonna get warmed up for some serious sledding today, guys. Keep it going. 15 more seconds. Six, five, 
four, three, two, and last one. Bring it over. Excellent job. Bring that pillow back to center. From here, we're going to do a little Russian twist action. So we're going to bring our knees back into center, and we're going to get a little tilt going. So you want to tilt it back about a 45 degree angle. I'm going to come to the side so you can see. Okay. So I'm going to start nice and tall. Tilt it back. So I start to feel some tension in that abdomen and that core. The core will tighten up. From here, we're going to take our pillow and we're going to bring it to our left hip, back to center, into our right. Hip. Okay. Here we go. Russian twist. Make sure that we're holding our breath. Let's take a pause in the center, okay? Let's not work up the momentum. Be mindful about our movements. We're gonna keep that tilt going. Nice core move right here. Working that rectus abdomen, that deep, deep tummy muscle. Get all the way through to the lats. I really like this one. Three, four. Six. And four. Two. Last one. Finish it out. And done. Good work. Put that pillow behind you for now. We're going to do another upper body move. Take advantage of this chair. Okay, so I realized that uh, not all of us like the tricep dips on the chair, you know, especially if we are, have weak wrists or our wrists hurt, excuse me. So, level one for this one, you're just gonna do a little switch of the pillow, tricep press, you should feel those triceps pop in the back of the arm, hold it for half a second, bring it back to center, switch it to the other side right here, okay? So that's gonna be your move, okay? Level two, we're coming down for that tricep dip using the chair, so take a nice step out, Feet are planted on the ground. Knees are about hip width apart. Okay, holding onto the bottom of that chair. Elbows are gonna shift back. Good, butt's gonna drop down. Press into the palms, all the way to the tippy top. Good, feel that squeeze in the triceps. You got it. 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven. Keep it going. Six. Hold it for that half a second. Feel that squeeze in that tricep. We got four more. Four, three, two. Elbows are shifting behind you. Last one. Have a seat, guys. Nice job. Roll those wrists out. Give them a nice roll. You did amazing. All right, guys, so from here, we are gonna cool it down. But if you are ready to do some more, then just hit rewind on this video and start it all over again. So I'm gonna take you through a couple stretches before we say goodbye today, all right? So from here, guys, a couple nice big deep breaths. Bring us back to center, here we go. Arms overhead, exhale on the way down. Good, inhale, big breath, exhale. Cascade them down, one more, inhale. Exhale, cascade them down. Good job. Right arm's gonna come across that frontal plane. We're gonna take it down to the left side of the chair. That left arm's gonna fall behind you. Go ahead and gaze towards that left arm. Take a nice big deep breath right here. And on that exhale, we're gonna bring it back to center, but now we're gonna take that left arm all the way down to the right side of the chair. Right arm falls behind. Go ahead and gaze towards that right arm. Nice big deep breath, and bring it right back to center, guys. From here, we're gonna open it up nice and wide. Wrap your arms around yourself, give yourself a big old hug. Bring your chin to your chest if that feels good. Big breath on your exhale. Open those arms back up. Good, one more, opposite arm on top. This is for your neighbor. Good, good job, neighbor. Put your chin down on your chest. From here, we're gonna grab the underneath of that right leg, pick it up, and we're gonna extend, squeezing the top of the quad, and release. Good, extend, squeeze, and release. Squeeze, and release. Good, and on this one, we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna hang out right here, and we're gonna point and flex that foot. Ooh, that feels good. 
Good. Same foot. We're going to take it, pop it on the ground, pop it on the ground. All right. We're going to put our weight on our opposite leg, hinge forward from the waist, keeping that gaze out in front of us. Good. Now bring your toe down towards the ground. We're going to reach for it, keeping that head and chest lifted, booty in the chair. Same move for each level. We're going to hinge forward from the waist, keeping that gaze out in front. Here we go. Good. Now, if it feels good for you, press this knee towards the ground, and you're just creating a little bit more space in that hip flexor. Good. Let's roll the ankle out while we're hanging out right here. Just big circles for that ankle. Good. And bring it all the way to the tippy top. Let's set that right foot back down. Pick up that left leg. We're going through that press. We're going to squeezing the top of that quad and the release. Good. Two more. Two. And on this last one, we're going to point and flex. Point and flex. Very nice. Good. Bring that heel down to the ground. Weight on your opposite leg. Hinging forward from the waist. Keeping that gaze out in front of us. Sit in the back of those hamstrings, guys. Good. Now go ahead and bring that toe down to the ground. We're going to reach for it. Head and chest lifted. Get a little deeper into that hamstring stretch. Nice. Bring it all the way to the tippy top. Ankle over ankle, or bring that ankle all the way up to that opposite knee. We're going for that hip flexor stretch. Hinging forward from the waist. And the eighth up in front of us. We're going to press this knee away from us. It feels good for us today. And start to roll out that ankle. All right, go ahead and plant that foot on the ground. All right, so from here, we're going to plant our feet into the earth. We're going to come up nice and strong all the way to the tippy tuck, guys. Two big deep breaths together. Gather up all that energy and awesomeness we just made for each other. Good. Throw it around the room. I hope you guys enjoyed this workout. Get out there. Play in that snow. Have a great day, and I hope to see you guys on Thursday. Bye.